going on guys it has been a stupid long time um i have a uh, a lot of updates for you guys believe it or not well you should believe it you should expect that actually um so first off let me start with a stupid ass rant uh walked outside today got in my car went back out to grab a drink got on the uh, the passenger side to put my uh, book bag in and uh I think like an army of birds just shit all over my car. That or one angry one. But anyways, on to a good note. Um, well, I can't really say good note. I guess an update for you guys would be the positive side of it, I want to say. Um, the reason I haven't been so, you know, active or making videos or really doing anything is because uh, a couple months ago I actually bought a motorcycle and unfortunately ruined it so to make a short story out of what happened um so i was leaving i started sliding on rocks um it was probably like 12 o'clock at night i started sliding on rocks and i had to get up a hill so at the bottom of the hill there's like uh like a bunch of rocks and then it's just like a straight gravel hill up um, started sliding on them uh, the bike started tipping over from it so I kind of leaned the other way to counterbalance it and doing that I made the stupid newbie mistake of just giving it too much throttle on complete accident and you know I started making it up the hill I was like all right cool I'm gonna recover from this it's gonna be you know it's gonna be fine um, started leaning too much so started to counterbalance that and then that uh, once again leaned too hard into it and with that it it kind of it took me into a wall to say the least so the first thing that hit was my knee that was the initial impact and then from that I don't remember really what happened like kind of in the middle of that I just remember being tossed over the handlebars into this uh, like bed of rocks um, shattered my face mask on the helmet and uh, I remember rolling back off the hill and catching myself with my hand and that's when I broke my wrist and hand and if you can see here it's it's not really like straight uh, the shitty thing about that was it's pretty much how you see in the movies like or not even in the movies like uh, like those ridiculous videos where people get really fucked up in accidents and stuff like that uh, like no joke my finger was probably uh, it wasn't completely like this way if you're holding it straight but it was probably like somewhere between straight and completely uh you know horizontal and it if i didn't have the adrenaline it probably wouldn't be anywhere near straight i mean that shit was miserable to kind of like you know reset but uh as far as the knee goes uh when i got my mri done they said that i had i, I forget the word they used it wasn't a tear but it was like a a massive massive crush injury and uh it, uh, I, I can't remember the word they used, but anyways, I really fucked up my ACL, PCL, and meniscus, and when I was finally able to kind of, like, wheelchair around a little bit, um, when I started going to see my, uh, physical therapist, they were saying I might be walking late August, September-ish time, and keep in mind, this happened, I want to say, May? late May, mid to late May, sometime around then, um, so, you know, that was kind of shitty for me to hear, but with, um, with therapy and everything and her really pushing me and getting my legs stretched out and everything, uh, I started walking with, uh, a pretty bad limp on July 7th or 8th. Uh, that's when I was able to like, you know, hold my own weight up, walk around, stuff like that. Um, I'm still walking with like a minor lip. Uh, getting up in the morning completely sucks because it's like, I'll go and stand up and kind of forget that, you know, I had the problem. And I'll go and stand up and like I start to kind of like fall over because I don't have that, that leg strength and bend or bendability. So it, it kind of sucks. And then a few hours after that, like I noticed myself uh, starting to walk kind of like how I normally would. Um, it just hurts a little bit. 
Oh, fuck. 2002. But, um... Anyway, where was I? Uh, yeah, so the knee, instead of being able to completely, you know, like, flatten my leg out, like, in a standing position, it was, uh... It was stuck like this. No matter what I tried to do to bend it out, it was always just stuck. And that sucked. Alright, so let's switch to a positive note. Um, I know in previous videos I have talked to you guys about having a, a project car kind of like under wraps. Uh, it's pretty, pretty set in stone that I'm going at the end of next month, or sorry, end of this month, or sometime next month to go pick it up. But, uh... It is, in fact, BMW E30. It's a 1990 325. Uh, the one thing I'm, I'm kind of on the fence about with it is uh, it is a vert, which right now I'm not that mad about, only because it's been like mid-90 degrees outside, and drop top would be pretty dope. But... I did want to make it a time attack car, but being that it is a vert, that only creates many complications and weight problems and shit like that. So, it's just going to be a pretty dope street car. If I can see 300 to 400 horses minimum out of it, I'm going to be pretty, pretty, pretty excited. But the whole backstory on that was it's in a property that uh, we're renting out to this guy. Um, the problem with that is it's three hours away and communicating with this guy is almost non-existent. So I didn't want to give myself or, you know, you guys any false hopes having it and all this stuff. But now that it's, it's pretty guaranteed, as long as it doesn't blow up in the, uh, the process, you know, it's, it's looking pretty, uh, pretty positive. There is no way in shit I'm leaving it stock. The first few things I'm doing right off the bat is uh, cold air. I'm going to end up camming it, and it's going to be super simple because it's single overhead. Um, obviously exhaust, which is the one thing I might wait on because I kind of do want to vlog from it. Like inside, that would be pretty cool. However, what I want to do, it's either getting some sort of like side pipe I don't know if I'm gonna have like a cutout exit, but under just like, you know, under the skirt maybe. Um, or right behind the uh, the front fender or the wheel. Or I might just be stupid and run open headers for uh, a day, maybe. An unfortunate but kind of exciting thing that, uh, that came in the mail yesterday was I got my uh, emissions paperwork or whatever. I know, that kind of sucks. I'm probably going to have to do a lot to get, you know, get it to pass. But uh, the cool thing about it is it is going to be my last one ever before this car gets tagged historic. Well, actually, I don't know if that's true. There's been this, uh, this post going around Facebook for a little bit now where the laws on, uh, you know, cars that are tagged historic have been changed or something. Um, I read a little into it. When I first saw it, it was super late and I, I fell asleep. But uh, one of the things I was reading is you're still going to have to get uh, inspected. I don't know what that goes into, whether it's, you know, you buy a car like that or every two years or whatever it may be. There wasn't that much information on it. Um, but instead of it being, I think it's, uh, it was 20 years before. Instead of that, I think it's 30 now because it had something posted about like the new increments or I don't know. It was, it didn't make very much sense, which is making me, I, I don't know if it's real or not. Um, a lot of my uh, car friends are sharing it and they don't really caught, get, uh, they don't really get caught up in like that, that whole drama side. Like they'll, they'll scope out and find things that are true and not true and kind of only share what makes the most sense if that makes sense so that's the only thing making me nervous thinking that it might be true but I'm not going to be too worried about it <laughs> I think it's funny how it's summer and my AC works again I mean I didn't need it in winter but it, it never worked until now I have a feeling this might be one of my longest vlogs which I'm perfectly okay with in all honesty I wish mine were a little bit longer uh, it's just normally I do it when I'm on the way from work and with traffic and stuff like that it, it kind of frustrates me and I don't want to take that out like on camera and stuff uh, there's also a really annoying something rattling 
accident thing, I've I've never wanted to be more consistent with something. Um, I don't know how I didn't bring that up earlier. That actually reminded me. I I actually made this video yesterday, and then realized my uh, my GoPro wasn't set in video mode. It was set on camera mode. So it took like five pictures of me, and I got home to go uh, edit it and upload it, and realized I just took pictures of myself, and I felt incredibly stupid. So I apologize for not putting this out yesterday, but it's for sure as hell going up, and I am definitely going to keep consistent with the, uh, the upload schedule. Um, at absolute minimum, it's going to be once a week, but I'm going to try very hard to, to kind of like daily vlog. Um, the only issue I'm going to run into that, or run into with that, is I might not have very exciting things to say other than like, hey, this happened at work, or you know, I met this dude. Um, but you know, we'll make it work. I'll definitely make that work for you guys. Make it exciting. Tell a story or something. Another cool thing with this uh, this new job is the fact that it is uh, a half hour away from uh, from home. That gives me plenty of time, you know, to talk to you guys, to kind of make a video. It keeps me occupied during the ride. Uh, I'd like to do one home, in all honesty, but when I get off, it's normally at like 10, 11 at night, and GoPros don't really like the darkness. I don't think any camera does, to be honest, uh, and I'm not sure how I feel about driving 30 minutes with lights on all the way home. I'll try it once. I'll definitely try it once. If it works out, you know, maybe uh, a combined vlog every day or split up or alternate. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I'm definitely up for pretty much anything. This came to me randomly, but the, all right, this is going to be impossible for me to say. The landlord's management team, I think the manager of the management team that runs like the, the cleanup and shit in uh, where, my, uh, where my job's building is, he just rolled by work one day. None of us knew who he was. We just saw this brand spanking new maroon wine reddish kind of looking GTR just roll up and it sorry there are two cops just jumped in front of me it's making me very nervous um, but yeah he, he just rolled up in front of work stared us down and just left and we all walked outside and I guess he saw us and he uh he made like a loop, came back in, and just stopped and talked to us for a while. Because uh, we're also building a brewery, and apparently he got word on that. So he was kind of asking about that and, you know, saying once it's up and running, he's going to be there all the time. And, you know, we were like, fuck yeah, dude, just leave your car here. Um, but no, he was he was really cool about it. And it was funny because he, uh, I, I was saying I've never seen, you know, one in red in person. I've seen yellow, white. Uh, I've actually seen a Liberty walk one in person, but I've never seen a, like that red. It was like a maroonish wine something. I mean, it was, it was a good looking red. And, you know, I was saying I've never seen a red one. And he's like, yeah, I honestly hate red. I, I went to get a white one, but, uh, you know, they were out and I was like, fuck man, now I gotta, you know, go out of state to find one or whatever. And the guy was like, nah, come, come back, come, come look at this. And he showed him, and he's like, that is a cool-ass color. So, he bought it, and, you know, we look at it now. It's cool. For a second, I thought I took the complete opposite exit for work. Uh, unfortunately, when you do that, it puts you off, like, another 30 minutes, which <laughs> kind of sucks. Oh, shit. Apparently, they're doing shoulder work, and they had, like, a... That truck was like, I don't know if you guys saw it, but that thing was like halfway black in the road when I pulled up. Whew. Gave me a little heart attack. Are any of you guys planning on going to H2I this year? I've been giving it more thought and I think I'm definitely gonna show up this time. I 
say that like I, I dipped out last time. No, actually, I I completely forgot the uh, the time of it last year, and I didn't make it. Um, that was my fault. I should have done way more research. But um, actually, believe it or not, I thought I was gonna miss it this year too because I thought it was like a month ago. And um, I've been recently informed that it is October, and I don't know what I was thinking about. So I'm definitely going. It'd be cool to see some of you guys there. Hopefully I'll have the E30 by then and I can, you know, show it off a little. Alright guys, I'm pulling into work now. I'll catch you guys next time.